The 11 Biggest Fault Lines in the World Earthquake Hotspots Hello everyone, and welcome back to Unique Fact. Today, we've got something both fascinating and a little bit unnerving to talk about. We're diving deep into the world of tectonic plates and seismic activity to explore the 11 biggest fault lines in the world. If you're interested in understanding where some of the most powerful earthquakes occur, you're in the right place. But remember, these locations can be quite dangerous, so let's learn about them from a safe distance. Alton Ta Fault Number 11, we have the Alton Ta Fault, located in the Tibetan Plateau. The Alton Ta Fault is at least 1,200 kilometers long and is an active fault line that has been estimated to have been moving since the age of dinosaurs. The plate is known to collide with two other plates causing a massive strike-slip motion. According to some studies the fault line may even extend up to 1,500 to 2,500 kilometers in length. San Andreas Fault System Coming in at number 10, the famous San Andreas Fault System. The San Andreas Fault System is so huge that it is divided into segments. The fault line is estimated to be at least 1,300 kilometers long and is a large fault line that affects most of California. The fault system is named after the San Andreas Lake, which can be found in the middle of two moving plates. There are currently drilling expeditions into the fault in order to lessen earthquakes and provide faster responses. Gulf of California Rift Zone Number 9 The Gulf of California Rift Zone located at the southern tip of the San Andreas Fault and extends another 1,300 kilometers. It reaches well into the area of Mexico. The zone is known to be a place where the North American plate moves from. This location creates new landmasses and seafloor due to the pulling of tectonic forces. Great Lakes Tectonic Zone Now, at number 8, we have the Great Lakes Tectonic Zone. At a length of 1,400 kilometers the Great Lakes Tectonic Zone is found from South Dakota all the way to the southern area of Minnesota. This then extends to Michigan and then to Ontario, Canada. The zone is known to be volcanically and seismically active. According to scientists, movement dates back to 2.7 million years ago. Alpine Fault Number 7 brings us to New Zealand's South Island and the Alpine Fault. With the same length as the Great Lakes Tectonic Zone, the Alpine Fault can be found at New Zealand's South Island. The movement of the plates here have caused some of the most devastating earthquakes in the country. The rates of movement of the fault are very fast compared to other fault lines in the world. Kunlun Fault Next up, at number 6, we have the Kunlun Fault. 
The Kunlun Fault is another long fault line located at Tibet but this time the northern side. It is measured at 1,500 kilometers long and has been active since 40,000 years ago. Because of this, the area has experienced some strong quakes including a 7.8 magnitude earthquake during 2001. Main Uralian Fault Number 5, The Main Uralian Fault Otherwise known as MUF, the Main Uralian Fault is at least 2,000 kilometers long. It runs through the Ural Mountains and separates a large part of Europe and Asia. It is a very deep fault line that reaches 15 kilometers below the crust surface. Peru-Chile Trench Now, at number 4, we dive into the Pacific Ocean to explore the Peru-Chile Trench. The Peru-Chile Trench is also known as the Atacama Trench. It is located in the Pacific Ocean nearing both Peru and Chile. The fault is measured at least 3,000 kilometers long and some measurements even extended up to 5,900 kilometers. Alaska Aleutian Megathrust Number 3, the Alaska Aleutian Megathrust This 3,600 kilometers fault line runs from the Gulf of Alaska up to Kamchatka. The movement in this place caused some of the strongest earthquakes and biggest tsunamis ever recorded. The most notable is the 1964 Alaska earthquake recorded at a magnitude of 9.2. This caused a very large tsunami. Central African Shear Zone At number 2, we have the Central African Shear Zone. At a length of 4,000 kilometers this fault line is located from the Gulf of Guinea up to Sudan. There has been no descriptive mapping of the zone yet but it has been known to have been moving since 120 million years ago. movement dates back to the Jurassic era. Sunda Megathrust And finally, the grand champion at number 1, the Sunda Megathrust. The biggest fault line of all is measured up to 5,500 kilometers and is found at Southeast Asia. It is located from Myanmar and runs all around the nearby regions until it reaches Australia. The movement of this fault line resulted in the 2004 India earthquake that led to a tsunami claiming at least 230,000 lives. There you have it! Folks, the 11 biggest fault lines in the world. These natural wonders, while awe-inspiring, also remind us of the power of our planet and the importance of being prepared for seismic activity if you live near one of these fault lines. Stay safe, stay informed, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating content right here on Unique Fact. Thanks for watching.